Hey, what's up, fellow creators? I'm BC from Alloy7, and thanks for tuning into our Q&A Tips and Tutorials Tuesday, where today we'll be answering the question, should I or should I not use profanity on my YouTube channel? And I think YouTube is an interesting monster because unlike radio or TV, you don't have the same regulations or really even the same expectations. I think when you go to a YouTube channel, you a lot of times will hear a lot more profanity than you would hear in other media. And I think as adults, most of us have been exposed to it or probably not offended by it. But I'd like to make a case today for why you should consider not doing it on your channel. And regardless of the type of content that you're making, obviously if you're making comedy videos that require that in your scripts, it's going to be kind of hard to strip that out of what you do. So I, this probably isn't for you. But for those of you that do any other type of interactive media, vlogs, things like that. The number one reason why I don't personally use profanity here at Alloy7, even though I do cover content and video games that do have profanity in it, but the reason to the degree that I can control it, I don't do it here, is because I never wanna do anything that limits or alienates my audience. And if you don't mind, I'd like to illustrate what that looks like with a practical example. So a host of the YouTubers that I enjoy watching a great deal are shows that I can't watch while my kids are awake or in the room with me because I don't want them to go to school and repeat what they've heard on this show. Now granted, I don't come from a school of thought that there's a such thing as bad words. I think there are poor uses and bad intentions behind words. This notion that there's good words and bad words is somewhat nonsensical to me. But the fact of the matter is if my son goes to school on Monday and then blurts out some random profanity that he heard on a show that I was watching, that's not gonna be socially acceptable. It's gonna put him and me and his mother in a tough spot. So I apply that type of thinking to the shows that I create. Who out there is watching my show? And if I were to just go on a tirade of F-bombs and other types of words that we know as profanity, who else out there with kids in the room with them would stop watching my show just because they can't watch it with their kids in the room. Not that they don't like me or they don't like the content or not that they're not gonna watch me later on that evening. But the fact of the matter is I'm limiting my reach. That person wanted to watch a video of mine, but they couldn't do it because I had some language in there that wouldn't allow them to watch the videos around their kids. And there may be a host of other examples that you could use practically for why you shouldn't use profanity on your channel. I think YouTube really proves that point that usually the most popular people that are out there by and large uh, who've had a lot of success tend to shy away from that. Obviously, PewDiePie not with stick. I think when you get to that level, pretty much do whatever you want. And keep in mind, it's really about what your goal is. Again, if you're making comedy videos that center on some less than savory topics, then obviously you're going to have that type of language in what you do. So I would never recommend that that person don't do it. But if you're doing vlogs or if you're doing video game reviews, there's really no need to have that type of language in what you're doing, especially when you consider that you're going to limit the amount of people who are able to watch it. And that's all I have for you today, friends. I hope you found this helpful and informative. Please, by all means, leave me commentary in terms of what you think about this angle of using or not using profanity on your channel. And if this is your first time here, or if you've not subscribed already, allow me to encourage you to do so as we do these types of creator support videos every single Tuesday. And until next time, until all are one, allow me to tell you that it's been a pleasure to serve you. And may God bless you till I see you next week. Peace.